Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from EzraAutomation.com and welcome to my all new series in Ezra Automation on Selenium with C Sharp.net. We have already talked about Selenium with C Sharp.net like eight years before as in series and this series as you're seeing today is going to be a pretty much exactly like a reincarnation of the same series that we discussed but this time we are going to be talking about Selenium C Sharp with .NET 8 and C Sharp 12. So these are the latest and the greatest version of .NET and this .NET 8 version released just today during the time of recording and it is quite fascinating and fast compared to the earlier versions of .NET. So if you have been catching up with .NET, there are so many changes happened in .NET. During the time of recording, like 8 years before Selenium C Sharp, it was in .NET framework like 3.5 or something like that and it was very restricted to Windows platform. But later on, .NET has made so many changes and the invent of .NET Core 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way up to 8 has made the whole .NET running in multiple different platforms, like pretty much like Java as well. So all these fascinating things are going to make Selenium with C Sharp .NET language binding even more amazing, pretty much like Java language. If you are familiar with Java programming language, then C Sharp .NET is going to be pretty close to Java programming language as well because both of them are object-oriented programming language. So they both are going to share the similarities of the same programming language concepts and terminologies. But if you are pretty new to C Sharp .NET and if you think that you got to be get started everything from the scratch, then I would highly recommend you to go to this particular video series which is going to talk about C Sharp for automation testing. So if you see in this particular series, it's going to give you an in-depth detail of how you can get started all the way from the basics of C Sharp to an advanced C Sharp 12 concept. Well, as that said, in this particular series, we are going to be talking about Selenium with C Sharp .NET from the complete ground up all the way from the introduction, installation and getting all the way to the most advanced concepts of Selenium with C Sharp .NET. And in this video, we are going to talk about an introduction to Selenium with C Sharp .NET and also a bit of comparison with Selenium C Sharp with Java language binding because you will see the difference between Selenium C Sharp .NET syntax versus the Java syntax of Selenium. So before we get started with the Selenium C Sharp .NET itself, why is automation testing required? So if you're pretty new to automation testing and if you're just getting started yourself with the automation testing world, then this slide is going to help you. So with automation testing, we can reduce the repetitive and time consuming task because it is going to free up the human resources to focus on more complex and critical aspects of software development process. That is the most important thing of any automation testing. It's not just about development, but also for the industry factory automation that most of the companies does. And similarly, automation testing can also help you improve the accuracy and consistency for each and every iteration. Because human, as we start, tends to do the exact same work each and every time, we start losing our patience and sometimes we get to the trend of using our subconscious mind and we start losing some of the details that we have to look at each and every time during the iteration. But automation testing can always do the exact same thing each and every time but providing the consistency output and also the accuracy of the output each and every iteration. In addition to that, automation testing can lead to faster turnaround time because it's going to be done by a computer program and it's going to test a computer program so it's going to be faster to turn around each and every time. Well as that said there are so many benefits of automation testing and we'll be covering all of them in this particular series and we are going to be focusing just about the web automation testing and that's the reason why we have chosen this Selenium. So what is this Selenium tool? If you have never really heard about Selenium, Selenium is an open source automated testing framework used for web application across different browsers and platform. Well as it open source what is this open source really? Since Selenium is an open source automated testing framework, it's free for usage all the time and contributed by hundreds and thousands of community members. So which is good news for us as a consumer of this particular product because we get this Selenium software for free and we can just use it not just in the test environment but also in the development environment, production environment without any problem because it's open source and it's really, really free all the time. And we also said that Selenium is used for web application across different browsers. So what does that mean by different browsers? So Selenium supports almost all the popular browsers which is available like Chrome, Firefox, Edge Chrome, Chromium or whatever that you name it. It's all supported by Selenium. So which is very, very useful for us while we do the web application automation testing because we need to test our application almost all the popular browser 
to make sure that the application works consistently across all the browsers. That is the other power of Selenium. And finally, Selenium also runs on different platforms. So what does that mean? Well, Selenium supports in almost all the popular operating systems like Windows, Mac operating system, Linux, and even mobile OS like Android and iOS for web app testing. So that is another amazing feature of Selenium, so which makes Selenium and most easily affordable and more efficiently usable tool across the automation testing world. And Selenium also does support many different programming languages. For example, these are the supported programming language Selenium does support. And the one that we are gonna be discussing about is the c -sharp programming language. And if you are familiar with other programming language, then you can easily relate Selenium with these programming language bindings as well. As that said, Let's first understand how Selenium really works. So Selenium uses the supported programming language as the command to interact with the browsers via driver to perform the intended operation as if like a real human test. So as you can see, if we write our program, in this case, we're gonna be writing our test code in the C-sharp programming language. So C-sharp programming language code is gonna act as a command, which is gonna run within our IDE, and then it is gonna to talk to the drivers. So every browser, as you can see over here, is gonna have their own native drivers, like Chrome browser in this case, has a Chrome driver. Similarly, Firefox browser will have a Firefox driver. Edge Chrome will have Edge Chrome driver, something like that. So I mean, Edge Chrome is again a Chromium browser, so the drivers are gonna be relatively same, but still it will have a different driver altogether. And they also support Chromium browsers. So all these different browsers are gonna be holding their own browser drivers. And that's how the communication really happens with these browsers. So this is how Selenium really works in a nutshell. But I mean, when we talk about Selenium with the remote web driver, the concepts are gonna be a bit changed here. But for now, because we're just getting started, this is how Selenium really works. Next, we are gonna understand how Selenium c -sharp code is going to be different with the Java code and what is the major difference when it comes to choosing the programming language. So as you can see, both programming language are widely used in the industry and have their own unique benefits. Ultimately, the choice between using Selenium with c -sharp or Java depends on your specific needs and preference. Both the language have their own strength and weakness and it's important to consider these factors before making a decision. For example, if your company is a .NET workshop, then you should really consider using Selenium c -sharp .NET. But if your company is too much into Java, and if you have all the developers and testers who have good knowledge in Java, then it's worth using Java language because everybody will be on the same page and your PR will be reviewed by all the developers as well as testers without any hesitation. So that's why language is just a medium for you to communicate with the team members more efficiently but at the end of the day, they both are pretty much exactly the same and you gotta be choosing based upon your preferences and needs. And now let's see some of the major benefits of c -sharp versus the Java language binding of Selenium. So as you can see, c -sharp is also a cross-platform supported pretty much like Java and the Selenium syntax is also pretty much exactly the same for both c -sharp and Java. There is not quite a lot of changes to be honest. You can easily get around with this syntax. And also the community support where it comes to Java, it is quite higher compared to .NET. I would really have to agree on this particular place because there are very less resources available comparing to Java really. But again, there are many resources available, but comparing to Java, c -sharp .NET is a lesser. And that's the reason why I have marked this as yellow color here. But other than that, you can see everything is green, which means the learning curve is also same. And the IDE support for c -sharp and Java are also pretty much available prevalently among the community. So it's almost exactly the same as well. So that is the major difference that I see for Selenium c -sharp versus Selenium Java. So now let's see some of the syntactic difference between c -sharp versus Java itself. As you can see, if you're gonna be initializing a web driver, I mean, we have not talked about web driver or web element or anything like that, but just to give a heads up, like how the difference is gonna look like in terms of the syntax, this is how it's gonna be. So if you're gonna be invoking a driver, for instance, Chrome driver, which does the interaction with the browser as we saw in the diagram, the initialization code is gonna look something like this. It's gonna have iWebDriver, which is for the interface of the web driver. Driver is equal to new Chrome driver. Whereas in Selenium, it is gonna be just web driver. So there is no i in the prefix, but it's just gonna be web driver, driver is equal to new Chrome driver. So this is like a 
real syntactic sugar of Java versus C sharp because in C sharp world interfaces are defined with a prefix of I but in Java no such thing really exists even though it's an interface they still call without an I prefix that's the reason why it is still web driver and it's going to be exactly the same for the web element as well in web element it is I web element but in Java it is just web element similarly in order to navigate to a website you're going to be using driver.navigate.go to this URL whereas in Java you can just call the get method that's the exact same thing and in order to click an element you see that the find element methods are being used and click methods are being used and you can see for this the f is in capital letter whereas the f is in small letter in java because that is how the syntax was being written and similarly by id the i is in capital letter in c sharp whereas in java the i is in small letter and the c is in small letter for the java and it's capital letter in c sharp and that's exactly how you do for the web driver element for waiting. There is a change and you can also see that you can get a text of an element using a text property. Whereas in Java, we use the method get text. Similarly, in order to close the driver, we just use the capital C, this is small c. Uh, and also the most important thing that I see in overall of this syntax is going to be this one. The page object models has a complete change in c-sharp world the page factory factory class is completely deprecated and is no more used in selenium c-sharp for the page object model whereas in selenium java we still use page factory class and we use in combination with the at find by attributes over there and again this is the only major change that i would see in terms of the deprecation not a lot of methods are being deprecated as if like the Java world for C sharp, they are pretty much aligned and they are pretty much exactly the same like how they really work. That's it. These are the changes that I would see uh, in terms of the syntax. And there are a few changes which we'll be discussing while we get along with this course. But for now, these are some of the changes that you can quickly absorb while you see the difference between both of them. Well, as that said, the agenda of the course is going to look something like this. We are going to be starting from our next video with the installation and getting started with Selenium C Sharp using Visual Studio 2022 and .NET 8 and C Sharp 12. I'm using the .NET test framework to run the Selenium test, working with different UI actions, custom methods for library of Selenium, and understanding how to write page object model code in Selenium C Sharp world, writing custom library with extension methods, data-driven testing using NUnit, JSON, Excel file, and also we'll be talking about like how you can run the test in parallel, run in the remote web driver using Selenium Grid, Docker containers, and more. So these are the things that we'll be discussing in this video course. So this course is going to be quite exciting and catch you in the next video. Until then, you guys have a great day.